In this video, I'm going to introduce an incredible new AI tool that genuinely shines when it comes to designing stunning looking UIs or designs for your next website or mobile app. And all these designs that you see on the screen right now are created entirely using a new AI tool called as Ready AI. And to quickly get started, all you gotta do is to simply paste the exact description as to what you want to generate, select the color scheme, select a theme and optionally upload an image for reference and with the press of a button, the AI will go ahead and generate stunning UIs. And the best part, you can then go ahead and edit it further to make it exactly like the way you want to and export the code right away. That's right, no more design skills needed. I will walk you through how Ready AI works, explore its key features and show you how you can go from a simple idea into a fully coded design faster than you ever thought possible. So let's quickly get started. All right. So this writer is ready AI and the first thing that you got to do is to click the first link in the description below and go ahead and sign up for a new account. And in the homepage itself, it says transform your idea into beautiful design with code in seconds by our most advanced AI. So here you can find a couple of these use cases, a couple of these examples of the sites or designs created using ready AI and all that. So if you want to, you can go through their homepage and find even more details. And now once you log into your account, this is going to be the kind of screen that you'll see. So first thing that you'll have to do is to create a new project. So as soon as you open and sign into your account, you will find a pop-up box asking you to create a new project and also select the framework. So I can go ahead and click on this option that says new project. And this is what you will see. And first of all, let's say I want to create, okay, by the way, I will show you how we can create designs for both a mobile app and also a full fledged website. So first up, I'll go ahead and name it as LMS desktop. And I'll go ahead and select the code. So you have a bunch of these options like HTML, Vue, YouTube, React, UniApp and all that. So depending on your use case and what exactly you want, you can go ahead and select any one of these. But for this one, I'll keep it as HTML and then I can click on this create option. Now basically I'm creating a new project and this is where the whole magic happens. As I mentioned earlier, you can generate designs or UIs for both desktop and mobile version of the site. So you can go ahead and select between these using this toggle right here. And this is where you got to enter what exactly you want to build. In this case, let's say I want to design a LMS. Okay. So first up, I'll start with the homepage for my LMS or a learning platform for coding and programming. So I can go ahead and say a landing page for my coding and programming course learning platform. Okay. And now as you can see, the AI is even suggesting what to include in the prompt. And if I click on tab, I can confirm the same. So it says a landing page for this include hero banner, course categories, testimonials, and CTA buttons. Additional features could include a navigation bar search bar. Looks good. I can hit a uh, tab. And if I wait for a few more seconds, it will keep on generating new and new things to include in the prompt. So if you want to, you can select all that. And next up, you can go ahead and select the color scheme. So if you want to, you can go ahead and select between light mode or dark mode, select a primary color theme and also corner radius if you want to, then you can go ahead and click on save. And next up, you could also go ahead and use your microphone instead of having to type the prompt. For example, if I click on this mic, I can use my microphone, design a landing page for my, see, this way. If you want to, you can actually go ahead and use the microphone. and. Another cool thing is that if you want to take inspiration from a specific screenshot or a mockup or a design of a website, you could actually go ahead and capture a screenshot and upload the same in here as well. So you have options for that as well. And for now, I'll keep it as desktop and this looks good. So I can go ahead and click on this send button. Now the AI will go ahead and take the entire requirement or the prompt that we sent and structure it into something like this. So as you can see here, we have navigation and header, hero section, course categories, social proof, featured courses, testimonials, CTA and footer. Now, if you want to add anything additional to this one, you can actually go ahead and ask the AI to do that. For example, let's say I want to add a contact section. So I could go ahead and say, add a contact section just before the footer and hit enter. Now the AI will go ahead and take the, this requirement that we passed and put it into the actual plan. And now, as you can see, right above the footer section, we have a contact section. Looks cool. So now I'm pretty happy with this uh, outline that the AI has created for me. And now all I gotta do is to click on this generate button and look at that. The AI will go ahead and process all the requirements that we just passed and create a design. So initially the AI will generate two variations of the same design and we can select the one that we like the most and continue from there.
All right, so it took about one minute and now the AI is done creating two variations of the exact design. So this one right here is the first one. So here we have the navigation bar, search bar, sign in and sign up button, the hero section, master programming at your own pace, a dummy image in here. Then here we have popular course categories, web development, mobile development, data science. Okay, <laughs> trusted by leading companies and it has included the logo of Google, Microsoft, Amazon and Apple. Oh, this is actually sick. So here we have featured courses section and this course card with the pricing, the title, review, level and learn more button actually looks good. So that is there. Here we have the testimonial section, CTA, contact information. So we went ahead and asked the AI to include a contact session right above the footer. And here we have it in here and the actual footer itself. And you know what the best part is? The AI will go ahead and create two variations of the same. So if I click on this one right here, as you can see, this is a different variation with a different image and okay the courses are a little different so the overall structure is pretty much the same but the content is a little different okay now you can go ahead and select whichever one that you like the most for example let's say i like this one the most okay now this is the version that i want to further edit and now the cool thing is that you can individually go ahead and select any element within this design and further edit it for example let's say okay right now we have these cards right here right so I can go ahead and click on this option right here and select uh, the entire div like this. And now I can go ahead and say, add a nice animation to the cards on mouse over and I can hit enter. So basically I want to add some kind of animation. Okay, right now we have this uh, shadow effect in here, but I want to add some kind of animation and I've specifically selected this particular div or these cards. And now let's wait for the AI to make the changes. All right, so the version two is done and hopefully when I hover over these cards, I should see some kind of animation. So let's see. Oh, there you have it. Now we have that nice subtle lifting kind of effect when I hover over it with my mouse. Okay, that looks good. And next up, let's just say, okay, what else? This looks good. Okay, pretty much everything looks good. And next up, let's just say you want to add an additional new section to the design. You can go ahead and ask the AI to do the same and it will gladly do that. And now if you want to view the code for the same, all you gotta do is to click on this code option right here and you'll be able to find the code right here. And you, if, if you remember correctly, initially we selected um, HTML as the type. So here we have the HTML code. So if you selected, let's say React, you could go ahead and copy the React code, download the code or even copy it. And now I can turn it off. And if you want to share the design, you can go ahead and click on this share option right here and you can copy the link and you can share this link with pretty much anyone and they should be able to see exactly the design that you have developed using ready AI. Okay. And next up, let's just go ahead and say, I want to create another page for, or let's say the courses page for each of these codes. I want to create a separate course page. And for that, all I got to do is to, let's say, click on this learn more icon right here. And it will show me an option that says continue to generate, or you can go ahead and explicitly ask the AI the same. But for now, I'll go ahead and click on this continue to generate option. And as you can see, it says thinking, let's wait. All right, so as you can see, the user just clicked the learn more button on a course card and suggesting they want to view detailed information about the specific course. Okay, looks good. And now I can click on generate. And now the cool thing about Ready AI is that you can go ahead and design multiple different pages for your website or app within one interface or one project. So as you can see here, we have created a LMS desktop project. And right now we have this landing page. And next up, I'm trying to create a course details overview page and right now the AI is designing the same and in a similar fashion, you can go ahead and create an about page, a contact page, a resources page and all that pages. Okay. I'll show all that in a bit for now. Let's wait for it to complete coding the same. All right. So the AI has generated a course details page. Okay. So we have two versions of this one and this is actually really nice, right? So the AI has went ahead and added a placeholder YouTube video uh, preview in here and towards the right side, we have the price enroll now button details, download curriculum, the title, hours, lectures, reviews, the tutor, the course overview. Then we have the actual, you know, course curriculum right here. Okay. For now we have two sections, student reviews, testimonials and related courses. And now let's take a look at the second version. And oh, this looks more like Udemy, right? So here we have this hero section with the title, the description, ratings, last updated, the tutor, course curriculum, reviews and all that. Wow. So you can go ahead and select any one of these specific design that you like. So in this case, I'll say I like this one the most. So I'll keep this one. And if I want to, I can go ahead and further edit it. For example, let's say I want to um, 
add a few more section to this page right here. So I can go ahead and say, add a related course section to the bottom and hit enter. So basically I want to add a couple of cards uh, showing the related courses to this one. So that's exactly what I want to implement. So let's see. All right, so that's done. And there you have it, related courses you may like, and we have a couple of these cards in here. In a similar fashion, you can go ahead and add pretty much anything and ask the AI to implement all that and pretty much everything will be taken care of by the AI. And I'm genuinely impressed by what Ready AI is capable of doing. And now let's say you want to work on your landing page. So you can go ahead and click on this option, select the landing page, and you can go ahead and further edit it. Maybe you want to change some color, add new elements, or do anything as such. You can do it using AI. And next up, let's just say I want to create a about page. Okay. So all I got to do is to click on this about and click on continue to generate. Now the AI will go ahead and create a new about page for my project. All right. So here we have the about page. So hero section, a timeline, a couple of cards. Okay. Or impact a about section with a meet our leadership team. So here we have details about a couple of these people, social profile icons, the name, the title, a small description. Okay, looks good. And here we have a second version, which pretty much looks okay, almost similar. Good. I'll keep this one. And now I can head back to home or the landing page. Okay, just like that. So this right here is my landing page and I've created a about page and I can click on this about page or the about link and access the same. And in a similar fashion, I can go ahead and implement each and every aspect of the design. For example, I could go ahead and create a contact page, maybe a sign up page, sign in page. Whatever be that you want to create, you can use AI to do all that. And this is how simple it is to create a design or let's say a UI for your next website using ready AI. So this AI tool right here, I can actually go ahead and replace Figma. So if you were to use Figma, you will have to do all things by yourself. And again, getting the code is yet another pain, right? But this is where ready AI comes into play. And all you got to do is to just talk to the AI communicate exactly what you want to generate or what kind of design you want, what are the changes to make and all that and let the AI do everything for you. That's how simple it is. So you can go ahead and repeat the exact same process, add new features, add new sections and you can also go ahead and access all these versions like version 1, version 2, version 3 and all that from here as well. So that's how simple it is. And next up, let's just also go ahead and try to create a mobile UI using ready AI. And for that, I'll go ahead and create a new project and I'll say LMS app and html looks good or maybe i can select it as react click on create let's see okay and this time around i'll go ahead and select this option right here that says uh mobile and i'll go ahead and say uh lms for learning coding and programming just make sure to select this mobile option right here and okay maybe click on tab a couple of times so the ai will automatically fill the prompt for me so you will already have a detailed description as to what you want to generate, right? So you can go ahead and put that in here. But for now, I'll just go ahead and hit tab a couple of times and let the AI fill a huge portion of the description. Okay, this looks good. I can click on the send button and let's see. Wow, so this is what the AI has generated. So we went ahead and asked the AI to create a LMS a mobile app UI and this is what it has generated. So here we have this cards of active courses, daily challenges, your progress. Look at that. So this writer is yet another version. Okay. I like this one the most. And next up, I can also go ahead and create a new page by clicking this option right here that says new page. And for this one, I'll go ahead and say a course details page and hit enter. Let's see. So here we have page overview, header, quick info bar, course description, content, features and benefits, instructor section, student review, CTA, additional information. Click on generate and let's see. All right, so here we have the course details page, a cover photo, the title. Okay, look at that. This is actually really cool. Here we have the second version, which also looks pretty similar. All right, so you can then go ahead and incrementally ask the AI to build new and new UI sections and take it up from there. And again, you can actually go ahead and view the code for the same. So this writer is built in React and you can find the React code in here. So that's for that. And now here we are back in the LMS desktop version. And let's just say I want to replace this image right here. So you have a custom image and you want to replace it in here. So all you got to do is to use the selection tool, select the image, and then I can go ahead and say, replace the hero image with the one attached below. And then I can click on this option, upload image, select the image. So I want to use this one. 
click on open and click on send. Now the AI will go ahead and take the image that we uploaded and replace it in here. Okay, so let's wait. And as you can see, here we have it. So the AI has replaced it with the image that we uploaded. And next up, let's just say I want to add some background color to this popular course category section. I'll select that just like so. Add a nice yellow background color. Hit enter. Okay, so there you have it nice pale yellow pastel yellow color in here and next up let's just say i want to add animation to the entire page so initially when the page loads i want to add cool little subtle animations to each and every elements all right so that's done so as you can see here we now have a subtle animation so if i put it in full screen as you can see here we have that subtle animation to pretty much all these elements and that's exactly what i wanted so that is also working so this is how simple it is to create stunning looking UIs or design for your next mobile app or website using Ready AI. And the cool part is that after designing it, you can right away go ahead and export the code using this code option right here, copy the code and start using it right away. So that's how simple it is. And to quickly get started, all you gotta do is to click the first link in the description below, go ahead and sign up for a new account and you can too start building your dream design using Ready AI. So I hope you guys found this video useful. If yes, make sure to subscribe and I'll see you in the next one.